Hi guys, how are we? I'm Mark from Treasure Hunt in Scotland. We're off on a bit of an adventure this morning. We are off mudlarking on a new beach and hopefully it's going to be just some nice finds. Got a little tip off from someone who said they've seen stuff on a certain beach. And uh, yeah, I thought we'd go and have a wee mudlark there because apparently there's quite a lot of stuff just lying about the beach that's come out of the embankments. So yeah, let's go for a little mudlark and I'll catch you guys in the first hit. Well guys, here's the first find off this beach that I found and that's a little bullet cartridge Now, a second ago I thought I spotted a coin down here I did I'm positive that's a coin Oh, maybe not <laughs> Ah, it looked like a coin, it's a wee stone <laughs> Oh well But you can see some of this glass here has been here for a long time You can see the erosion on it So let's keep looking Get this bagged up And taken away And uh, yeah Let's see if we can get any more finds. Here we go, I was having a look at this here. I don't know if that's going to come out. I don't want to break it. Oh, this could be whole. Oh, unlucky. Look at that as well. That is a beautiful pipe, is it not? We got a bird on it. There you go, look at that, a little bird. Beautiful. That is a lovely little pipe. Well guys, I just rolled this one out of here. I've actually just spotted another find just right here. I don't know if that's a full bottle or not. This one here is a little free ringer. There you go, a lovely little free ringer bullet. Which is very nice, so let's see what this one is now. <coughs> Is just the neck. It looks like Aitken's Falkirk, probably a beer bottle. But there you go, it's still a lovely little find. Well, there we go, look at that. That's a fragment of an amber brown poisons bottle. I have to be careful with these waves because I bought one by. But yeah, that was like the fragment of an amber brown poisons bottle. Here we go, here's the next find out, and that's part of a a mini flagon that I found just lying on the beach is lovely bits of coloured glass here and things like that as well look at that eh look at that, it's awful but it's lovely coloured glass and there you go, that's part of a mini flagon see a fragment of a a clay pipe as well, look at that well, there's definitely stuff on this beach right enough I'll tell you one thing, this beach looks as if it's got potential I mean there's glass all over it but that's the neck of a ginger beer well, I think it's a ginger beer. This one looks either the neck of a stout or a ginger beer, or it could be a hoyt ammonia bottle. One of the two, possibly a hoyt ammonia bottle, to be quite honest. But yeah, that's the neck of a portobello ginger. There we go, there's another bit of clay pipe stem. There's definitely stuff on this beach, so let's keep searching. Could be wrong, but that looks like a really old fragment of a brick. Somebody says that something that was close to this colour was actually Tudor. Whether that's true or not, I don't really know. But yeah, that could be a fragment of a Tudor brick. Just remember this, guys. I told you this. Your pottery tells a story. It helps ID the kind of stuff that's out on the foreshore. So you should always look at it. Look at that. There's a... I think that's a bone toothbrush. Oh, look at that. That is in great condition, isn't it? Positive, that is a little bone toothbrush. Now, you don't find too many of them whole. That's lovely. Made a bone. Possibly a Victorian little find that there. That's nice. I like that. Mudlacking's fun because you never know what you're going to come across on these beaches. There literally could be anything from gold to silver to ancient finds. I mean, I've had flint close by on beaches here. So, yeah, let's keep looking and see if we can find any more. There's loads of glass on this beach and pottery. So, it's always good to have a look through it because it helps you ID the age of the stuff that could be on your beach. Well, there's a coin, but that's a bit of poison bottle as well. That's a clear poison bottle or a cologne bottle, one of the two. I think it's a poison. Could be a cologne bottle. You do get many cologne bottles from this area, and I've had them before. This is a little uh, farthing, it is, yeah. It's a bit toasted. No idea who it is. Possibly Elizabeth II. And that's a little farthing, I think. No, a farthing. A frockney bit. That looks like a swing stopper from something. John something. 
it does say Glasgow on it, it's definitely a swing stopper but from what, I don't know, but yeah it's from John, maybe a beer bottle or something like that, or a juice but yeah, it's a definite little swing stopper just spotted this <coughs> that's a bone handle to something whether it be a knife or a spoon or a fork that's another bone handle well, look, there's a bit of clay pipe look closely and you find stuff but there you go, another fragment of a clay pipe in amongst where the bone handle was, you've got to look carefully on this beach, there's definitely stuff here, it's just finding it well look at that, isn't that not just a lovely colour of blue glass that is absolutely beautiful, let's get a bra colour to it I like that I wonder what that was off of, that would have been nice to see that hole and find out what it was well guys, if you take a look at this, the pottery in this area is showing Victorian activity That's from a Victorian jar, would have been maybe like a jewelry jar or a marmalade jar or something like that Now that looks like it's from a, a ginger beer, but I've spotted this bit of green stuff here What is that? I have no idea See, you find the weirdest things on the foreshore if you look for them Oh, that's part of a button you can see it's got some writing on it Patent number Oh that's a button We'll maybe take that and have a look at it because we maybe get something off that if I can get the rust off Which I doubt I will Just found this, that's another Big neck, that could be another ammonia bottle I spotted something down here as well, can you spot the mud lacking thing? It's in here, I think that's flint oh, I'm going to take that because I'm positive that's toffee flint yeah, flint, that's definitely a bit of flint So is that what I'm looking for? That's an, always a good sign when you see this Toffee flint, woohoo! Nice! But uh, yeah, back to that, probably another hoik ammonia bottle Here is pottery And that's old In fact, it may be actually the contents of a bottle I thought that was pottery, it's actually the contents of an old bottle <laughs> They do crust away like that. I don't know what it is, so I'm going to put it down and go and wash my hands now. Well, there you go, some more fragments of clay pipes, and that's just a little penny. That's definitely just stuff. I'm just having a, a wander about, as you do, and you can see all the pottery and stuff just lying about. And I've just got to pick out the stuff from in amongst this. Part of rope. <laughs> that's rope, believe it or not. It's, it's old as well, you can tell by the way it's threaded. Got to find your finds, haven't you? We go in the pool again. Another coin. Who's it going to be? Oh yeah, you can see it now. That is another old school ten pens. Of course, it's Elizabeth II. It's not too old. I find loads of these here. I don't know why. This must have been the coin of the day that people lost when they walked here. But yeah, there you go. I love a little. Old school 10 pens. This out for a bra colour of a bottle, eh? Look at that big mud lacking blue bottle. Mmm. Oh, look at that, it's been in a fire. That's a. I would probably go for a castor oil on that, believe it or not. That's a lovely big castor oil bottle. You don't see too many of them. Whole. Most of them are necked at the top, so. Yeah, I'm pretty pleased with that. That's a lovely cobalt blue in it, that. That'll display nicely, I'm going to put that in my collection actually You don't see too many of them Well guys, I'm going to call it a day for part one uh, We've been really really busy uh, Doing a lot of mud lacking on another beach It didn't really show up quite a lot There was some nice finds and popped out and things like that But yeah, we'll show you that We've moved beaches now So we're going to continue part two along At the, the beach that just keeps on giving uh, good finds So we're going to keep looking there and I'll catch you guys in part two. Please, again, I can't utter this enough. Please like and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in another video soon. Bye for now.